everyone. Welcome to the fifth video lesson in our uh, course, Psychological Assessment. In the previous video, we have talked about reliability. In this video, we are going to talk about validity. Now, reliability and validity are closely related concepts, but uh, they actually mean different things. A measurement can be reliable without being valid. However, if a measurement is valid, it is usually also reliable. As a refresher, pag sinabi natin uh, reliability, it is how consistently a method measures something. If the same result can be consistently achieved by using the same methods under, under the same circumstances, the measurement is considered reliable. Um, however, before we talk about the concept of validity, I want you to bring out your phones or laptops and take this BuzzFeed quiz entitled Create a Pizza and we'll guess your relationship status by entering this URL. You can also find the URL in the description below. Now, I want you to pause this video uh, in order for you to take the test. Now, now that you have uh, taken the test or the quiz, I want you to answer the following questions. What is the quiz proposing to measure? Number two, what do you think? Uh, what do you think that the quiz is measuring, or rather, do you think that the that the quiz is measuring what it is proposing to measure? Why or why not? And number three, how else can we measure the quality of a relationship? What might we ask beside the question? Are you in a relationship? Okay, now that you have answered those questions, let us, uh, let us now move on to uh, the concept of validity. When we say validity, it refers to how accurately a method measures what it, what is, uh, what it is intended to measure. If a research has high validity, for example, that means it, uh, it's, uh, it produces results that corresponds to real properties, characteristics, and variations in the physical or social world. Pagdating naman sa uh, psychological assessment, pag sinabi natin validity, uh, it's a judgment or estimate of how well a test measures what it uh, purport, uh, purports to measure in a particular context. Yung judgment na ito ay based actually sa evidences uh, about the appropriateness of of inferences drawn from uh, test scores. Now, we have to understand that validity uh, of test must be shown from time to time to account for culture and uh, advancement. As, as, culture, as both culture and, and development can influence the result of, of someone's test, uh, the result in a particular test. Now, validation is a process of gathering and evaluating evidences about validity. Uh, in order for us to determine yung, valid, yung validity ng isang test, meron tayong proseso, mga, mga prosesong ginagawa. Pag-uusapan natin ito, mga proseso na to, uh, dito sa video na to. Now, both test taker and um, uh, eh, both test taker and test user have significant roles in uh, the validation of a test. So, um, a, test uh, a test user might conduct um, a validation study. Okay? Pag sinabi natin validation study, um, it, it, it yields results or, or insights regarding a particular population of test takers um, as compared to the norming sample. Also, um, a test user might want to conduct um, a local validation study. Pag sinabi natin uh, a local validation study, kailangan ito pagka um, yung test user will alter some aspects or elements of the test, including yung format ng test, yung instruction nito, yung language, or even the content of the test. So, before you, uh, halimbawa, may nakita kang uh, isang test uh, na hindi locally made, isang test uh, na na foreign ang language, let's say English, and uh, you want to ano, you want to use the test in your uh, research now uh, kung kung direct mo lang tong gagamitin hindi mo kailangan mag-conduct ng local validation ng test however kung babaguhin mo yung instructions babaguhin mo 
let's say, yung format, babaguhin mo yung language, or even yung content ng test, it's absolutely necessary for you to conduct a local validation study. Okay? Hindi lang pwedeng i-baguhin uh, yung language ng test at saka uh, gamitin ng directly sa iyong research. Kadalasan, meron kang validation studies na gagawin. Kailangan mo na pumasok sa proseso ng validation. Okay. Now, um, meron tayong uh, at least tatlong types ng uh, validity doon sa tinatawag natin trinitary uh, or trini, trinita, trinitarian view uh, na, na, ng validity. Uh, and, and itong trinitarian view na to believes that evaluation of validity should focus on number one, how well a, how well a measurement's quantitative value represents the attribute being measured and number two, how well the measurement gives scores relevant to what uh, the test is trying to measure. Now, um, now, etong meron tatlong features or tatlong aspects etong ano uh, trinitarian view at eto rin yung tatlong types ng validity na usually ginagamit natin. Now we have to understand that these types of validity are not mutually exclusive with each other and they actually contribute to a unified picture of a test's validity. So, hindi yan competing ideas, hindi yan uh, uh, choice whether magkakondak ka lang ng content validity or criterion-related validity or construct validity lang. Lahat itong tatlong ito ay nagko-contribute para sa isang klarong imahe or picture kung gaano ka-valid ang isang test. However, critics claim na itong approach, approach na to ay fragmented and incomplete. Okay, so isa-isahin natin. Pag sinabi natin content validity, it is based on an evaluation of the subjects, topics, or contents covered by the items in the test. So basically, ang content validity ay may question na, is the test fully representative of what it aims to measure? Okay. On the other hand, pag sinabi mong criterion-related validity, uh, it is obtained by evaluating the relationships of scores obtained on the test score on other tests or measures. Pag sinabi mong criterion validity, it asks the question, do the results correspond to a different uh, test on the same thing? Ibig natin sabihin, yung uh, resulta ba ng test na ginawa mo, ay uh, pareho or, or related sa resulta ng ibang test na sumusukat ng parehong construct. Okay, sp and speaking of construct, pag sinabi mong construct validity, it is based on the degree to which inferences can legitimately be made from the operationalizations in your study to the constructs on which those oper operalizations were based. But in other words, pag sinabi mong construct validity, it evaluates whether a measurement tool really represents the thing we, we are intending to measure. Actually, this is central, yung, yung, yung construct validity is central in establishing the overall validity of a method. When, um, kung, kung, may, kung, may, kung, kung, kung makakapagsalita lang ang construct validity, gusto niya itong itanong ay, does the test measure the concept that it intends to measure? Okay. Now that we have talked about in types of validity, it's also important that we look at uh, strategies in order for us to attain each of this or to measure content criterion, uh, criterion related, related and construct validity of our tests. Okay, so, uh, pero bago natin pag-usapan ito mga strategies na to, it's also important that we talk about yung tinatawag natin face validity. Okay, hindi siya kasama doon sa original trinitarian view ng ng uh, validity kasi uh, kung kung titingnan natin, itong face validity ang ang, ang uh, kino-consider na rather mababaw na version ng validity, okay? Pag sinabi mong face validity, it relates to uh, it relates it actually relates to more uh, it relates more to what a person appears to measure. Uh, to the person being tested than what the test actually measures. Okay? So, uh, kung, 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 kung i-analyze natin yung definition nito, yung 
itsura ang pinag-uusapan natin dito sa face validity, hindi yung actual contents. Ulitin ko ha, yung face validity ay subjective judgment ng test taker kung yung test na ginagamit niya ay mukhang sumusukat talaga nung bagay na sinabi ng test user na si sinusukat nito. Okay? Um, judgment, judgments concerning how relevant the test item appears to be is usually from the test taker's perspective and not from the test user's perspective. Okay? So, uh, bakit importante yung face validity? <clears throat> Consider this, that a lack of face validity may result to a lack of confidence in, per, in uh, perceived effectiveness of a test which decreases yung, yung, yung motivation and yung cooperation ng test taker. Okay? So, uh, anong, anong posibleng ano, example nito? Halimbawa, you want to create a survey that measures yung regularity ng uh, dietary habits ng tao. Now, you review the survey items which asks about uh, every meal of the of a per, uh, every meal uh, of the day and snacks eaten in between uh, of those meals uh, for every day uh, of the week. On the surface, uh, the surface <clears throat> on the surface, the survey seems like a, a good representation of what you want to test. So you consider it to have a high face validity. Dahil uh, subjective lang yung measure ng face validity, it is often considered the weakest form of validity. However, it can be useful, especially in the initial stages of developing of a particular method. So, um, while uh, hindi nito sinusukat gaano ka valid yung construct na sinusukat mo, or yung uh, match ba to sa isang particular criterion, or, or, or yung content nito, yung face validity ay sinusok ay subjective uh, measure lang kung yung test mo ay mukhang sumusukat ng actual construct na gusto mong sukatin. While mababaw ito, importante pa rin ito sa initial stages of development ng uh, isang test. So now, let us proceed to content validity. Pag sinabi natin content validity, again, it assesses whether a test is uh, representative of all aspects of the construct. Kadalasan, when we create or when we are creating our test, gumagawa tayo ng tinatawag nating test blueprint. And ang test blueprint ay yung structure ng evaluation. Uh, plano ito. Uh, regarding the types of information to be covered by the items. Nandito rin kung gaano karami yung items per subtest and uh, kung paano mo i-organize yung test item. So, anong example nito? Halimbawa, gagawa ka ng uh, isang test na sumusukad ng suicide risk. Okay? Ang definition natin, which is based on uh, the three-step uh, theory of suicide, is that Suicide risk is defined as the likelihood that the participant will attempt suicide. In this tool, it is the combined mean scores of the three dimensions under suicide risk. The first dimension ay yung psychological pain and hopelessness. Yung pangalawang um, uh, sub subtest ay burdensomeness and then lack of belongingness. Yung pangatlo naman ay suicide capacity. Kung makikita natin dito sa test blueprint natin, or at least dito sa first part ng test blueprint natin, nandiyan yung dimensions, yung tatlong dimensions ng test. Nakasulat din dito kung uh, gaano karami yung items per test. At saka yung percentage or yung, yung weight nito dun sa actual uh, uh, dun, dun sa composite score noong suicide risk test. Okay? So, paano nga ba nakakwantify yung content validity? So, ganito yan ginagawa. Uh, meron tayong tinatawag na content vali uh, validation ratio. Okay? Ito yung method for gauging agreement among raters or judges regarding how essential a particular item is. Okay? So, uh, paano ito ginagawa? Uh, bilang test uh, developer, kukuha ka ng raters. These are experts dun sa field of, of uh, research, dun sa field ng study na, uh, na, na, na gusto mong uh, mag-develop ng test. Okay? Pwede rin na sila ay eksperto doon sa topic na gusto mong sukatin. 
Okay? Uh, basically, ang tinatanong dito sa content validation ratio is that is the skill or knowledge measured by this item either essential, useful, or essential, or useful but not essential, or not necessary. Okay. Tingnan natin, balikan natin yung example natin sa suicide risk test scale. Um, sabi natin yung first subscale nito ay yung pain and hopelessness. And ang definition natin is that constant experiences of emotional pain combined with feelings of hopelessness facilitates the development of suicidal ideation. Okay. Uh, ang gagawin mo bilang test constructor is that bibigyan mo ng kopya nito ang bawat rater, ang bawat uh, validator, or, or, or yung bawat expert. At ang gagawin nila ay chachikan nila kung essential ito, useful ito pero hindi essential or hindi ito necessary. So each item will be scrutinized by your validator. Each item will be tested or will be uh, will be determined kung essential, useful but not essential or hindi necessary. So kung meron kang let's say 60 items, each item will be scrutinized by your uh, uh, each of the 60 items will be scrutinized by your uh, validator. So, uh, anong gagawin mo? Pag, uh, na, na, pag, halimbawa, tapos na silang i-validate ito uh, or, or tapos na silang i-determine kung ano ang uh, essential, kung ano yung useful but not essential at ano yung hindi necessary. Ang gagawin mo na ay i-compute mo yung tinatawag natin content validation ratio. Okay. May formula dyan sa gilid. Ayan. Okay. Now, <coughs> For the purpose of our lesson, you don't have to memorize the, the formula. Madali yung gawin sa SPSS. Um, so, uh, NE is the number of panelists indicating uh, essential, indicating that a particular item is essential, and N is the total number of the panelists. So, CVR is, ca CVR is calculated for each item. So, uh, Kokomputin mo yung content validation ratio ng bawat, uh, ng bawat uh, item to determine kung, uh, kung, kung valid yung item na ito or hindi ito valid. Okay, so uh, yung pangalawang form ng uh, validity ay yung tinatawag natin uh, criterion-related validity. And again, it measures how closely the result of your test correspond to the result of a different test. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin natin pag sinabi natin criterion? Pag sinabi natin criterion, it's an external measurement of the same thing. It's usually an established or widely used test that is already considered valid. So, paano, paano sinusukat ang criterion-related uh, validity? Kailangan mo na isang existing na test na sumusukat noong uh, construct na gusto mong sukatin sa test na dinedevelop mo. So, sa criterion-related uh, uh, validity, kailangan mo ng dalawang test, at least dalawang test. Ano tong dalawang test na to? yung test na dinedevelop mo at, ang, at isang test na established na yung validity. So, uh, ang, ang measurement uh, or in order to, 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 uh, to measure yung criterion-related validity ng isang tool, kailangan mo ng existing tool. Okay? In, in some cases where there are no existing tool uh, to measure with the same construct, posible na yung gagamitin mong tool ay sumusukat na construct na uh, highly correlated or construct na uh, malapit dun sa construct na gusto mong sukatin. Pag-uusapan pa natin yan sa construct validity. Now, uh, may several characteristic ang isang magandang criterion. Number one, relevant ito dun sa matter at hand. Ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan uh, connected ito kung hindi man uh, kung hindi man equal doon sa uh, doon sa, 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 sa construct na gusto mong sukatin, relevant ito dun sa matter at hand. Pangalawa, valid ito for the purpose for which it is being used. Okay? So, kailangan established na yung validity ng test. Okay? 
Pangatlo, hindi dapat ito contaminated or uncontaminated ito. Now, pag sinabi natin contaminated or uncontaminated sa criterion, sa criterion related uh, validity, ibig sabihin nito hindi ito dapat base or at least in part sa isang predictor measure. Okay, kung medyo magulo ang ibig sabihin nyo, let's have an example. Halimbawa, gusto mong gumawa na, balikan natin yung suicide risk. Okay? Halimbawa, gumagawa ka ng tool na susukat ng suicide risk. And in order for you, in order to compute for suicide risk, ang sabi mo, gusto mong tanongin yung mga tao sa paligid niya, including yung taong uh, gusto mong, including yung participant. Halimbawa, tatanungin mo siya on a scale of 1 to 10, gaano ka likely, gaano ka taas ang likelihood that you will attempt a suicide in the next, let's say, month. Okay? Tatanungin mo yung taong, yung, yung participant. In the same manner, tatanungin mo yung mga loved ones niya. Okay, yung mami niya, yung kuya niya, yung ate niya, or whatever, kung sino man ang importante sa buhay niya, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, uh, domestic partner, or whatever. Now, uh, in order to validate this tool, sabi mo, ang gagawin mo ay, uh, or, 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 tapos ang gagawin mo, Bago pa pala yung validation, uh, ang gagawin mo ay i-average mo yung, yung rating ng participant noong uh, observe, ob, nung, nung raters katulad ng mami niya, ng daddy niya, yung mga ibang tao sa paligid niya. So, so after all uh, your participants, after all your participants, all the participants in your given uh, study uh, gave their, uh, their scores, uh, gusto mo sana i-validate, let's say, yung, yung, yung test by asking the parents to rate yung um, uh, likelihood that their child will attempt suicide. Hindi ito, dahil kinuha mo na yung um, uh, opinions nila to formulate for uh, the suicide risk scores in the first place. Ito na ay tinatawag natin predictor variable. Hindi mo na pwedeng gamitin bilang criterion yung opinions ng parents nila. Criterion against which uh, itetest mo yung sound test ng test na ginagamit mo or nagdinagawa mo. Kasi in the first place, ginamit mo na yung criterion na yon bilang a factor to develop your test. So you cannot use the same factor to develop or to, to, to measure yung criterion related validity ng isang tool. Okay, so pag-usapan natin yung dalawang forms ng criterion validity. Meron tayong predictive validity and uh, ito yung index uh, of the degree to which a test score predict some criterion measure. For example, the validity of a cognitive test for a job performance is correlated between the test score and, for example, superior, uh, supervisor's performance rating. Such a cognitive test would have a predictive validity if the observed correlation were statistically significant. Okay. However, since testing for concurrent validity is likely to be simpler, more cost-effective, uh, and less time-intensive than yung predictive validity, mas malaki yung or, or mas pagtutuunan natin ito ng pansin. Okay? Now, pag sinabi mong concurrent validity, it measures how well a new test compares to a well-established test. To evaluate yung criterion validity, uh, or rather, to evaluate your uh, concurrent validity, you have to calculate the correlation between the results of your measurement and the result of a criterion measurement. If uh, there is a high correlation, this gives a good indication that your test is measuring what it intends to measure. Halimbawa, meron, uh, balikan pa rin, nandit, nasa example pa rin tayo ng pag-develop ng Filipino suicide risk scale. At meron na kasi naman din existing tools katulad ng suicide intent scale. So ang gagawin mo ay i-administer mo itong dalawang tests na to, uh, mag, uh, one after the other, at uh, sa same participants, and, and then i-compute mo yung average scores nila. At pagkatapos, uh, susukatin mo yung correlation ng, ng uh, netong mga scores na to. Pagka-significant 
yung correlation, ibig sabihin maganda ang concurrent validity. Pagka hindi significant or napakababa ng, uh, ng correlation, you might have to revise uh, uh, some items or, or more, uh, a lot of items in your test. Okay? So, ang panukat ng concurrent validity ay isang established ng test. So, ang gagawin mo, i-administer mong uh, magkasunod yung, yung dalawang test na yon, at susukatin mo yung correlation noong average scores between those two tests. Again, mas mataas na uh, correlation between these tests, the, uh, mas mataas na concurrent validity ang meron ang, uh, sa iyong test. Okay, so uh, aside from uh, uh, from from criterion related, uh, related validity and, and content validity and face validity, validity, meron din tayong tinatawag na construct validity. So again, pag sinabi mong construct validity, it evaluates whether a measurement tool really represents the thing we are intending to measure. Uh, Sabi natin, central ito sa pag-establish ng overall validity ng isang method or ng isang tool. Constructs can, uh, uh, pag sinabi mong construct pala, it refers to a concept or characteristics that cannot be directly observed but can be measured by observing other indicators that are associated with it. And guess what? Sa psychology, napakarami nating constructs na to. Napakarami natin ang tinatawag na hypothetical constructs. Okay, ano mga example nito? IQ is an I, it, or rather intelligence is, is a hypothetical construct. Life satisfaction is a hypothetical construct. Uh, love, that's a hypothetical construct because you cannot directly measure it in the same manner that you can uh, say uh, measure distance. So, uh, you, uh, another, other forms of, of constructs include obesity, job satisfaction, and even uh, depression. They can also be broader concepts applied to uh, organizations or social groups such as gender equality, corporate social responsibility, or even freedom of speech. Now, a number of procedures may be used to provide different kinds of evidences that uh, that the test has construct validity. The various techniques of construct validation may uh, provide evidences. For example, uh, a test of uh, the test is homogeneous, measuring uh, a single construct. Uh, test scores increase or decrease as a function of age, the passage of time, or an experimental uh, manipulation, as theoretically predicted. Because there are constructs that uh, should uh, increase as time goes by as a function of age. Let's say uh, abilities, there are certain abilities or skills, uh, let's say reading skills should uh, in theory uh, increase as, as the person ages. Um, a, a, another is that a test, uh, test scores obtained after some events or the mere passage of time that is post-test uh, post scores differ from pre-test scores as theoretically predicted. Also, test scores obtained by people from different groups may vary as predicted by a theory. So, test scores correlate with scores on other tests in accordance with uh, what would uh, be predicted from a, theory, from, uh, for, from a theory that covers uh, the manifestation of the construct in, quest, uh, in question. So, uh, Tatlo lang dito sa evidences na to ang titignan natin sa video na to. Yung test of homogeneity, yung uh, convergent vali validation, at saka yung discriminant validity. Okay, so pag sinabi mo <coughs> uh, evidence of homo homogeneity, uh, this refers to how uniform a test is in measuring a single concept. So, paano ito sinusukat? Uh, ginagamit natin yung Pearson R or tinitignan natin yung correlation uh, between yung average sub subset score with the average total test score. Pabalikan natin yung Filipino suicide risk scale na pinag-uusapan natin. Sabi natin meron niyang tatlong subscales. Yung pain and hopelessness, burdensome and lack of uh, belongingness, suicide capacity. So, ang gagawin mo ay itetest mo yung correlation ng average scores na itong, ng, ng subtest 1 sa average score ng uh, 
Filipino suicide risk scale, uh, subset 2, doon sa average score noong actual test, subset 3, doon sa average score ng actual test. And uh, uh, the higher the relationship between these two, uh, between this uh, between the subtests and the average uh, test, uh, the better. Okay. Uh, however, while desirable yung homogeneity, hindi siya necessary sa lahat ng tests. Uh, kasi it contributes no information about how constructs being measured, measured relate to other constructs. So, uh, uh, ginagam, ginagamit itong tong test of homogeneity sa item analysis uh, in quest or uh, sa item analysis na pag-uusapan natin sa mga darating pang panahon. Okay? Pero dito sa sa video na to, uh, reliability uh, rather validity pa lang ang pag-uusapan natin. So, meron sinusukat din natin yung convergent validity. So, evidences of the construct validity, eting evidences uh, na, na, na convergent validity for particular tests may converge from a number of sources such as uh, tests or measures designed to assess the same similar construct. Etong idea ng convergent validity is actually similar dun sa tinatawag nating uh, criterion related uh, validity. Uh, convergent evidences are scores on a test uh, undergo construct validity and correlate highly in the predicted direction with scores on older, more reliable, more uh, older, more established, and already validated tests designed to measure the same uh, or similar construct. Again, hindi kailangan same. There are there are times where uh, no existing tool are uh, no existing tool is measuring the exact construct that you want to measure. It's quite possible to use as uh, to use a similar construct para sukatin yung convergent validity ng test na gusto mong sukatin. Okay? Last time, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, discriminant validity. And yung discriminant evidences are, are validity coefficients showing little relationship between test scores and other variables with which scores on uh, the test being construct, uh, validated should not be theoretically correlated. So, uh, on one hand, sinusukat natin kung gano'ng ka-related ang, ang scores uh, na, meron ka, na meron yung test na ginawa mo sa existing test na sumusukat ng similar or same um, uh, construct. On the other hand, sinusukat din natin kung gano'ng ka-layo or unrelated yung, uh, uh, yung test scores Na, rather yung scores ng ginawa mong test sa mga test, sa mga sa existing test na hindi dapat related dito. So, uh, this ends our uh, lesson on validity. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the coming videos or in the coming weeks, pag-uusapan natin ang test construction at paano, ka, uh, paano mo gagamitin yung concepts ng reliability at validity sa pag-create ng tool mong sarili. Thank you for watching and see you next time.